So this year's decoration theme I'll do is witches. We'll make a witch cauldron prop for our front garden Halloween display. We'll go step by step and list all the needed items and tools needed. The needed items and tools are the rib template, a piece of cardboard, spray glue, scissors, three quarter inch wide foam board, hard wire cutter, a Dremel plus a heavy duty cutting disc, marker, masking tape, white glue, a disposable cup, water, aluminum tray, newspaper, hard glue, and black spray paint. I have listed links to all these items on the description box. First, you'll need to go to my blog link to download and print the two parts of the rib template. Once you have this ready, align the locator holes by overlapping them. Use the background lighting to make it easier to align these holes. Once the profiles look good, a tape at approximate three locations. Grab the cardboard piece and apply spray glue to it. Place the template on top of it. This will provide support to a rib template. Once the template dries, cut the perimeter using scissors. This template will be used to cut the foam boards which will form the cauldron shape. We'll place the template on the foam board and cut the perimeter using the hard wire cutter. This will produce some films so it's recommended to do this step outside or on a well ventilated area. Cut the rest of the ribs this way in order to maximize your foam usage. For this cauldron, I used a total of 32 ribs to achieve this result. Before we glue the ribs to the container, we need to cut the rope handles and the supports around them. Here is where the Dremel and the heavy duty cutting disc will get into action. Just remember to use safety glasses whenever you are using the Dremel. Cut the plastic walls, being careful not to cut through the container face. In this case, we'll need to determine the contact areas from the ribs and the container. Align the template with the container and mark this location. On these marked areas is where you will add the hot glue to the foam ribs. You don't want to waste glue on the sections where the ribs don't touch the container. In order to add the ribs even in space, we'll need to glue them on this order. First, add four ribs at approximate 90 degrees. Then, add one rib in between these two at 45 degree angle. Finish by adding three more ribs in between the 45 and 90 degree angles as shown. Repeat until all the spaces have been filled. This is the achieved result. Now we need to add the masking tape around the ribs in order to start forming the cauldron's body shell. Once we have applied the tape all around, we need to prepare a paper mache mix. Get one part water and one part white glue and mix it thoroughly. We'll use this aluminum tray to place the solution. Dip the newspapers in the paper mache solution until it's all covered up. And start adding the paper all over the tape area and you should achieve a similar result to this. Let it dry overnight and the next morning we'll have a solid body. It's time for paint. I'll start adding a brown base coat at the bottom of the cauldron to simulate fire and top it off with a black layer. Let it dry and our cauldron is now ready. After I did this setup, I placed the cauldron on bricks and added orange lights around to simulate fire. On the inside, I added an LED light and a compact smoke machine to do the green smoke effect. Both the LED light and the smoke machine come with a control, which is very handy since you can control the times when you want to produce these effects. On the description box, I'll leave the links for the LED and the smoke machine as well and all the needed items and tools for you to make this prop. And if you are interested on that cat prop, I'll include a video link for that tutorial as well. As always, let me know if you have a question on any of the steps and like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Also, let me know what Halloween decoration theme will you be doing this year? Until next time and happy Halloween!
For more tutorials, how-to, and product videos, visit handynoah.com.